Well, it's a Tractor Tuesday, and today we're going to talk about the Farm All M, the 1945 Farm All M. Almost didn't make this video. Well, in about oh, two weeks, three weeks, I'll have had my channel five years. Of course, the first year, year and a half, I had no clue what I was doing. So I've really been actively uh, knowing what I've been doing for probably three years on YouTube. And today, I'm going to show you something I've never shown before. And I waited years for somebody to pick up on it. And they never did. And I'm surprised H Turbo didn't. Ooh, check that out. That looks nice. Um, got two new ones there that I never put on. Um, just for those of you that are new, this is a 1945 Farmall M transferred over to electronic ignition. The alternator belt is too long on there. I put a new alternator on there, and so I need to get a shorter belt. So this can clip and snap, and I will do that. However, in today's video, I'm going to show you something I've never shown before on the channel. Now, I do have the M&W throttle up there, and, and this has just been a beast of a machine. 15 538s, and it needs skins. I've got the skins here I just showed you. Needs rear skins, no doubt about it. I've always ran it without fenders, but truth be known, that's kind of like the last thing on the bucket list to do to this. Uh, I've I've first got this i flushed the tank out it was filthy um i've got an in bowl filter in this i put an inline in it rebuilt carb new starter new wires heavier duty wires obviously it is 12 volt these tractors you could get these with an m&w hand clutch and what that basically did was it gave you a live pto so if you were say bailing um, running a uh, pull type combine stuff like that where when you push the clutch in you don't want the PTO to stop you just use there was a lever right here you pull it back and it keeps your PTO running and stops you from moving just picture like jacking up you know the the spin tire so to speak but really that's all it it's all it was designed to do is give you a live PTO when otherwise you had none well, this tractor came with an M&W hand clutch when I got it. However, I was missing a lot of the parts. And you can see right there. Hopefully you can read that. I'm using my left hand to get you guys to be able to read that. Um, and yeah, and, and right there, M&W clutch, hand clutch. And I couldn't find the parts for it. There's a, like a disc in there that wears out. I could find that. But the handle wasn't there. I could not locate the handle. A couple of times on Facebook Marketplace, I did see entire assemblies for sale. I jumped on them. Somebody jumped on them faster than me because they are that rare to find. Would I ever switch this back over to M&W? Probably not. Probably not, because I don't do anything really where a live PTO is, is pertinent. What I've basically used this tractor for now is pulling a set of discs. And it pulls, four, pulls 14s, International 370 14s. In fact, you go into my top five uh, YouTube videos, popular uploads, they call it, in the playlist. This is... Pulling the discs is one or two of those five. <laughs> but yeah, that's something I've never shown before. And just to cover the hole up, I put I put you well, know, I, I put duct tape over it. And that's worked out real well. What I did was I just bypassed deleted it, bypassed it, put two grade eight bolts through there. Um, and I can break that way. But I could not find parts. Otherwise I probably would have kept it original 
and it would have never ended up doing the things that I wanted it to do. Now, if you go into the blogs, the blogs, you'll get 15 different opinions. Okay. A lot of guys say if you have the M&W clutch, it's, they're worthless as far as tillage, plowing, disking, otherwise. I would know because I've never done it. It does make sense, though, that it is a weak link. Um, but, yeah, that's just something that I've never shown before. Um, and, and just to talk about, because I have a lot of new subscribers that <laughs> have seen the have seen the cub a lot and you know the thing of it is it's like it's not that i want to show the cub non-stop it's just that i have to show the tractor that i'm using in that season well it's winter i'm going to use the cub quite a bit i will use the cub to plow and if i find a disc for it i will disc but really the object is to have a plow on this cub and then a disc on the other one with the fast hitch but yeah let's go back to the m so yep i've this was my very first tractor that I got on the channel, and it did everything. I mean, I was pulling a little Genius 2 bottom, and, of course, I went into the, into the you know, I don't want to say the Red Forum rooms, but the, the Facebook group. Um, you know, you go in there, I mean, you wouldn't know in a lot of those groups that you're in a Red Power group. You know, because some of y'all are assholes, man. You really are. In fact, I don't know. Maybe you're trolls. Maybe you're John Deere trolls and you're in there. I, I don't know. But I do know the experiences that I've had in the in the red groups has been less than honorable. Uh, most of you guys, you know, 80, 85 percent of you are, 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 you know, in the red power brotherhood. But the rest of you guys are, I mean, you're jack wagons, man. One thing people don't do uh, on their farm all M often is they don't grease their water pump. You can over grease them. You know, it's a seal in there and you can't over grease it. But most cases, it's not greasing it enough and you will have to change that out. Get the book, man. Get the book. Uh, that's a Joyrider seat. It needs, I don't know, I need to tuck it under and restaple it. But uh, comfort is definitely there it's very very comfortable got the hydraulic shock not spring it some people say oh it's not original it doesn't look right i never cared about lights and the reason i never cared about lights is because i my my theory is when it's dark it's time to go inside and not run the tractor and when it's light out you run the tractor now it's neat and nifty if it's a parade tractor and stuff to have it you know have lights on there and i gotta tell you i mean <laughs> all my other tractors do and you know and, and this old butthole right here always comes around and he's really annoying but yeah all my other tractors do have working lights on them but uh, that was by no fault of my own just the fact that the previous owner put them on there and they still work and ah you know if they're on there and they stop working I'll, I'll make them work but yep old 1945 Farmall M M and W hand clutch Tell me if you guys would have done the same thing. Well, it's been a few months. Let's fire it up. Woo, cold scene. All right, how to do this. <laughs> Go about half throttle. I don't know if I'm gonna need choke or not, to be honest with you. We are in new trail. Foot start. Eh, try a little choke. I don't think I shut the gas off. need to change this filter out and that one I 
hear just a little thump to it, but that's probably, you need the juices flowing. You know, I don't care if they're sitting in a heated garage for months on end. If you don't run them, they just grow gremlins. to run, let that battery charge up. Comment down below if you've ever used an M&W hand clutch. The only thing I think I'll do to this this year is throw a new thermostat in it. Ran a little hot last year. Um, of course, I was running it in like fourth gear <laughs> across the field with them big discs. Big being relative for the size of the tractor. And, yeah, it got a little toasty, so I think I'll put throw a 160 in there. Tell me what you guys think in the comments.